All right, here we go. Saying goodbye to Alabaster Bay. Pretty light winds today as we head north. 2.7 knots. Here we are, the entrance to Hatchet Bay. Not very wide, and we're bouncing a good bit. Kind of creepy. All right, and we have arrived at Hatchet Bay. Here's what it looks like. Actually, this is called Hatchet, Hatchet Bay Pond, I think it is. And let me tell you, this place is very pond-like. Look at that water. And this place has uh, most cruising amenities, laundry, and I believe you can get fuel and water here. Uh, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure there's not showers, but there are uh, quite a few uh, little local restaurants. The bottom here is grass. I don't know if this is going to show up in this video or not, but it's just almost 100% thick, dense vegetation growing down there. Uh, we got a good set on the anchor. Uh, and we have uh, just really nothing but fairly calm weather coming up, so I'm not too worried about the anchor. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's lots of grass. So, Hatchet Bay. And there's our spot in Hatchet Bay Pond. We're now inside uh, what I guess is some kind of public some kind of public pier here that's what we've uh, where we've uh, tied the dinghy up to the dock and yeah the Explorer charts describe this water as being army green and I have to say that I agree with that assessment uh, there's there's actually two boats in this frame right here there's one two How's it going, Molly? Good. How's it going, Tambi? Good. Do you know any jokes? Nope. Come on, tell the fish in the tank joke. Are you going to stand there until I tell the fish in the tank joke? Everybody's waiting, honey. Two fish are in their tank. One fish looks at the other fish and says, You man the guns, I'll drive. Good. Hey. And when we arrive in a new place like this, we do one of these recon trips just to kind of wander around and learn where everything is. <laughs> Molly's tickling the back of my leg with a uh, a piece of straw piece of wheatgrass or something. I don't know where she gets this from. The pranks and things like that. What are you doing? Hey! <laughs> All right, today we are going on an expedition. We're going to this cave right here. And it's probably, I don't know, two or three miles away from us because to get to that cave, we have to go from here 
and we have to go up to this dock, and then we have to get on this road, and we have to go all the way down this road to right here. Now this is Sweeting Salt Pond, and that's that's the little tip that you see right there. So we got to go past Sweeting Salt Pond, hang a left, and then the cave is right there. So that's where we're going. Uh, we're hoping we can maybe do a little hitchhiking to get there. Uh, I'm thinking maybe Tammy, if she wears something kind of, you know, short and risque, we would probably increase our chances at uh, picking up a timely ride. Are you going to help us out with that, Tammy? No. Tammy, this can't... Tammy, this is for the family. I'm wearing what I have on. Not risque. Well, I guess that would do. <laughs> You're still cute. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we got the dinghy tied up here, uh, ready to make our way over to the caves. And this this is a this is a situation here that actually requires a bit more thought and preparation because these walls and even these the lower areas of these little finger piers are just covered in these razor clams. So we got a little fender deployed here and we've taken note on where we're at on the tide. We're actually pretty low on the tide, so we have our we have our uh, bow and stern lines actually quite tight so that, uh, you know, so that it's not excessively slack when the tide comes up. So, I don't know, I think we're, I think we're good, right? Okay. Molly, are we good? Do you think so? Yeah. Okay, all right, let's go. Now these caves that we're going to, we don't know a whole lot about them. Uh, but what we do know is that uh, it's not like a guided tour kind of thing. It's just uh, it's just basically a cave that's on the side of the road. And they're quite... Uh, they go into the ground quite a ways. Uh, I mean, like, over a mile, I think. And uh, there are actually... Uh, it branches off in several different directions. And there are ropes that uh, you're supposed to kind of follow to get you through the cave. Uh, also, the cave is known to flood at high tide uh, and we were instructed to bring water and flashlights so we did bring water and flashlights and that I think is the extent of our intel on the situation currently so we're gonna kinda learn this as we go You guys ready? Ready. Here we go. I don't know if this is the entrance or what, but... It's either we go this way or we go down this kind of grown-up road, so... Let's see what this is over here. I would say that's it. This is it! Yeah, took that one. Thank you. What have you got, Molly? All right, you got one. Let's see, Molly, Mommy's got a headlamp. Should I use the headlamp or should I use the hand? I think I'm gonna do the headlamp so that I can do the camera. Good thinking. These things are all stretched out. Molly, have you ever been spelunking? Mm. You know you're about to go spelunking? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's caving. All right. We're inside the first room of the cave. Oh, I smell that. Can you see it? Uh -huh. We can hear bats. Molly, or Tambi has just seen a bat. All right, watch your step, ladies. All right, so that's the first room over there. And we are now in the second room over here and uh boy it's it's getting dark in a hurry <laughs> okay now we're in what is some kind of tunnel uh, i saw a couple bats down that way oh there's a bat 
there are there are actually some stairs going down are here. Bats won't hurt us, will they? What? Bats won't hurt us, will they? I mean, it, you don't want one to like land on your neck and sink their fangs into your jugular. Uh, beyond that, I think they're perfectly innocent. Okay. Okay. Do you hear that, Molly? Uh, protect your jugular at all costs. Okay, now I'm looking almost vertically down at a ladder, at a hole, and they did actually put a nice welcome sign right here. Uh, so... Uh, hmm. I'm torn. <laughs> what do you think, Tammy? I don't know if I want to go down there. Hey, this is your idea. I know, but I didn't realize we'd be going down into... Okay, hold my flashlight. Okay, I'm now at the bottom of the ladder. Uh, the girls are... The girls are up there at the top. Everything was going good until uh, right here where it's missing a rung, at which point I thought I was falling about 20 feet where I was actually only falling about 8 inches, so we're good. Um, so now it looks like you can go through this tunnel that's about 3 feet high. Or you can go through that one that's about six feet high. Okay. You're next, ladies. Bats are fluttering around us. They're attracted to the light. Yep. Protect your jugular. Right now we've all managed to make it here to the bottom of the ladder. Uh, this string, I guess, is what you're supposed to follow way back in there. Now, just to give you an idea of how dark this is, I'm going to turn off my headlamp for just a second. <laughs> Okay, turn it back on, and please. It, oh, I see, I actually see just a glimmer of light up in that direction. Please turn it back on. Please turn it back on. <laughs> ben, turn it back on. All right, we're now in another very large room. And then continuing on this way, it gets, uh, gets a little shorter. The ceiling gets, uh, gets shorter. And we're still follow, just kind of following this string right here. I would say we're probably, uh, I don't know, we're probably 200 yards into the cave so far. Um, I figure we're just going to keep going until there's no more graffiti. What do you think? Uh, Alright, now we're in a section that is just kind of a long straight tunnel that's about 8 feet tall and 12 feet wide. How's it going, Danby? I'm okay. Molly, uh, how's it going? Uh, good. Uh oh, Hi. oh, my camera battery's about to die. Really? Oh, I, and actually, my flashlight battery. Don't say that. All right, and this is this is the biggest room yet. Hopefully, you can see some of this on the camera. The ceiling's probably, I don't know, uh, 25 feet tall. It's probably 100 feet wide and 100 feet long really big room and I think this is about as far as we're going to go. My, my, uh, Tambi is starting to get <laughs> kind of freaked out. Me too. Yep. All right, pretty cool ladies, huh? Yeah. You like the cave, Molly? Uh, yeah? You want to come back and spend the night sometime? No. Maybe have a picnic? No. Sleepover? Nice job, baby. You did it. Did it. You seemed kind of uh, kind of worried there for a minute. Yeah. Caves do that to me. Yeah. Although. Claustrophobia and the thought of like floods and cave ins and spiders and bats and things like that. It's mostly the claustrophobia in the dark. Yeah. I'm a. Uh, I like the adventure, but my imagination runs a little wild sometimes. Yeah, I know. Good job, Molly. Good job. First, uh, first spelunking trip. <laughs> All right, now we're on another little trail that is uh, going down a big hill from the caves, headed in a direction that is towards the uh, towards the water on the west side of the island. We're gonna see what's down here. All right, the big wide trail has narrowed into this little footpath. We have no idea where we're going. No idea where this goes. 
All right, here are the ladies emerging from the bush. And the trail took us all the way over here. I don't know what's over this hill, but we're gonna find out. Was it worth it? Yeah. Look at that view! These are some tall cliffs. What a pretty place. And this is just to the north of Hatchet Bay. Hatchet Bay is just kind of over those hills about two miles, I guess. And this is looking out to the west. Wow, what a pretty spot. All right, so now we're, we're done with exploring the caves. We're done with exploring the trail and seeing the cliffs back there. And now we just gotta get back to the boat. We gotta get back to the road so we can try to get a ride somewhere. Right now, expedition leader Molly is uh, leading the way for us. You're doing an excellent job. Give us a thumbs up there. Nice. <laughs> Congratulations, we still have three in there. And we remove another chair. Don't move just yet. Are you gonna take it over to you? And she's gonna be saying yeah. Okay. All right, go. Nice job, baby. And go. All right. All right. 